Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I am rock hounding with my dad. He was off in the trees over there looking already. And we are going to try and find some petrified palm wood today. We're looking for palm trees that were petrified roughly 100 million years ago. I actually don't know the exact date. I'll look it up. And when I figure that out, I'll go ahead and put it in the video here. But yeah, we're looking for some petrified palm wood. It looks a little different from regular wood in that it'll have large, um, it's a large vascular system where it pulled a lot of water up. So it has large cylinders that go through it that are where it used to draw the water. So we're gonna look for pieces of that. Um, it rained a lot this past week. So the hope is that maybe we can find something on the surface. Traditionally, that's not a good way to look here because most of the surface has been picked over. You kind of want to dig. But we're going to go ahead and take a look, see if we can find anything on the surface. Hike around right here. And if we don't find anything on the surface, then hopefully we'll find something digging. But mostly we're going to try and just find a good spot to dig. And maybe we'll get lucky and find a little bit of palm wood on the surface. Okay, I, I, I don't believe this. Okay, I, we're just next to the fire pit here. I assume this place has been searched, but I think because of the water that's been running down through this, I think it uncovered something right here. If that's a piece of wood, that is big. That might be palm wood. Let's dig it up and see. Okay, I just dug around it and pried it up. So my dad's gonna pull it out now. That's a nice big piece. If, if this is wood, this is the biggest piece of palm wood I've ever heard of coming out of here. And it's just sitting here. It looks like it. That, that looks like the texture of wood. I'm going to try and get a part of it wet maybe and see if we can see the, uh, the pores that you expect to see in it. So you can see, we, we parked right there. I've been here twice before. First time I was on that first hill. The last time I was here, but I kind of followed the road all the way over there. I just decided to park here because last time I was here, somebody else had parked here and they were digging somewhere around here. And I was just wandering across and it's just right here. And I really think this is. Now, like I said, I'm going to go get some water and wash it a little bit and see. Because if this is, it's <laughs> one heck of a find. Put a little bit of water on and you can really see the wood texture right there. Very obvious. See that right there? It's definitely the wood texture. And I mean, you can definitely see that texture right there. I think my dad found his first piece. That really looks like it. He got that wooded texture on both sides. And it's a nice agate color too. Good color to it. I went off in that direction and um, the layer kind of gets pinched off. So what I think is going on is I think the layer is at an angle like this and here along this hillside, here and over that way, um, it's more exposed. And the layer I've been told is only about two feet thick, so it's very thin. So as you go this way, start going up the hill, and if it's angled like this, then there's just this two foot thing that just kind of disappears. So I think that's why most people search here is because this is <clears throat> where it is much more exposed, much better chance of actually finding something. Anyway, I just found one right there and it's a red one. Look at that. You can see the wood texture in there. Now, of course, at the end of the video, I will take close-ups of these all washed off, especially that big one. Yeah, stay, stay tuned for that big one after I wash it off. It could be amazing. So we were over there where we found that red, that red piece of wood. Came back over here to where I found that big piece. Just to look around here, there's a lot of agate that's just in layers here. And I'm guessing this is how it got up to the layer to get the wood. And then when I was looking right here, I found this little piece right here, just a little piece of the kind of a white petrified wood. So I'm gonna look around here a little bit more in detail. Okay, I found that little white piece up there. And right here, I think I found another one right there. Yeah, that's wood. It's definitely wood. That's pretty nice too. Well, I dug for a little bit. 
and then I hit that hard layer of white ash and decided I wanted to look around a little bit more on the surface. I came down here and right there, plopped it right out of the surface, another nice little piece of wood. Yeah, I'm just gonna look on the surface for a while. I decided to come back over here where I found that red one. And just right here in the grass, pulled that one out. That's pretty nice looking, right? That wood texture right on the bottom. I was searching down here, found a few little teeny pieces, just basically shards. My dad's taking a look digging there. <clears throat> but I found this one right here on the surface. Look at that one. Nice. Right over here. Probably should dig at the base of one of these trees. I came back with the shovel. My dad started over there, didn't see much. We dug there. Looks like stuff maybe people have already gone through. And then here I hit the layer and look at that. I don't know if you can see that in this. Oh, this is beautiful. All kinds of reds and other colors going through it. You'll see it better when I get it washed off. Maybe better in the shade. I don't know. But you can see how it looks like wood right there. Oh, nice one. I'm excited. We're going to dig. My dad was taking a turn digging and he pulled that one out right there. Beautiful. We'll get all these washed off. So, come over here to kind of get a feel for it. So this white layer of ash is what you're looking for. And we know we're in the unit because we start seeing all this coming out. Right there. Yeah, we're seeing all the, we're breaking this apart. And that's the ash There's layer. So you're digging in the right spot if you see that ash. Okay, we've cleared away a bit. You can see we got the soil horizon where it turns to clay right here. And then the very bottom is the ash layer we're digging into. We are gonna dig into this. See if we find anything. Okay, we've been expanding, digging along, and that fell out right there. Look at that piece. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that'll look nice. So that, it's right there, kind of in that clay layer. So just below the top soil, just before you get down to the white, right in the clay is where it came out of. Decided to take a break from digging. <laughs> and I thought maybe I'll come over to the road, because roads are places that get washed out pretty good. See if any of the washout had anything. So far I haven't found much though. I found one tiny piece up there and then another tiny one down here. This one was nice in that you can really see the little dots in it that are the system that brings up the water from the roots. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. I might just have to take a picture afterward. I was walking up the hill right here, and right there I found one that looks like it's been sitting there for quite a while. You can see how it's been oxidizing and altering. Yep, a little piece that's been there a while. Maybe we can find a few more. Back that way is where we're parked. I walked along the hill, the ridge line, just taking a look. Still see that smoke everywhere in the valley. I'm gonna head back. Not finding a whole lot over here. Alright, we're parked right over there. And over there is where we were digging the wood. I walked over this way just to see how far it went because I figured if we've got three layers of it on each of the hills, then there's probably a fault in each of the valleys. So if the fault goes up, then it might jump. And sure enough, the layer was over there and here it is again, jumping after the, uh, probably the fault going through the middle layer. So I came over here looking around and didn't see anything for a while, but then I saw this one. So we got a little piece right there. 
not that great. We'll look around a little bit more here. See if there's anything more. Yeah, this is definitely a place that's been dug in the past. Looks like I found something over here. A little piece right there. Huh. And another one right there. I think these are limbs, because look how it's just got a solid hole going through the middle. But if they're palm trees, then they'd be palm fronds. I'd be surprised if they preserved that well. Just picked up a piece there that I didn't think was a piece of wood. It kind of looked like it, but I wasn't sure. But sure enough, look in there, you can see little holes, the vesicles, or whatever they're called. Yeah. Okay. Look around here a little bit more. That one has some interesting look to it. Looks an interesting color. Pulled it out right there. No, right there, sorry. Interesting colors to it and some uh, nice little pockets in it. it. Almost looks opalized. Yeah, we'll get a better look at it at home. Okay, we've walked a lot, found a lot, dug a bit. It's about time to get out of here, so we're gonna head back and I'll go ahead and show you what we found. I think I'll start with washing off those big pieces and We'll video washing those off. That should be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we made it back. It's time to wash this thing off. I'm excited. It's a big one. And I, I'm pretty sure it's what it looks like it's made. That is absolutely petrified wood. Oh, look at that. There's lines going through it. Some of this didn't want to come off. The pressure washer. Some of that stuff is really caked on there. Definitely wood. You can see the rings of the, of the tree. And it's supposed to be palm wood, because that's what's in this area, is palm wood. I'm not seeing the palm pores in it. I wonder if this is part of the base of the tree by the roots. I don't know. That's beautiful, though. That's definitely wood. Yeah, I, I can see the grains of the, the wood in here. Kind of looks just like regular petrified wood. Well, I'm not sure. It's palm. Although the area is palm wood, that's, that's what people go there for. Okay, we washed off the big one. These are the three smaller ones we dug out of that one hole. We're gonna wash those off. Oh yeah. Already looking really good. Look at those pieces. Those are nice. These are beautiful pieces. I'm gonna have to try and clean them off further. All right, just finished cleaning all those bigger pieces off. You saw that, beautiful looking stuff. I'm gonna get better close-ups of all of those and I'll show you them here in just a minute. And I'll clean off the smaller ones as well and show all those. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the montage of all the cool stuff we just found.
All right, I hope you enjoyed all those beautiful specimens of wood. One thing I didn't tell you is today is actually my birthday, so the mountain gave me a present. Some beautiful pieces and a big one. So <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. Found a lot of cool stuff and there is treasure everywhere. Remember that. I'll see you on the next video.